Hi guys, this is Crivily with another pen review and today we are going to talk about a Pelican pen. The Pelican M200 Smoky Quartz, which is this year's M200 Special Edition pen. Um, when I review the pen now, I'm not going to cover the pen as an M200 all that much because I've already reviewed a number of Pelican M200 slash M205 pens. If I'm not completely mistaken, there's a review of the blue marbled M205 on my blog. Then there's a review of the M200 Black Classic. That is the black and gold trim fountain pen. This one here is a brown, the brown Smoky Quad Special Edition. And then there should also be a review of last year's Special Edition, which was the M205 that came with silver trims and accents which was called Aquamarine and that came in the same um, special edition box here also with a 50 milliliter ink bottle. Uh, last year it was the Aquamarine ink, this year of course it's the matching Smoky Quartz ink that has already been released in the beginning of this year. Pelican normally announces the year's special edition Edelstein ink in the beginning of the year. The matching pen smoky quartz in this case here then comes normally towards the end of the year to complement the ink. It's always or mostly it's a pen complementing the ink in ink color. So when I review the pen now I'm going to cover or going to focus a little more on the finish on the pen as a special edition as said as towards focusing uh, as opposed to focusing on the pen uh, as the M200 that it is. Um, now this smoky quartz is a very lovely color and I can already say and I should say in advance that it's a little reminiscent uh, of another special edition that Pelican once had. I don't remember exactly when it was. It was a while ago and that was the M200 Cognac um, that was lighter in color. There's a number of good comparison pictures online. The cognac was a little bit more amberish in color, more amber toned, and this one here is more of a nice, oops, nice dark brown. So the pen comes um, as last year's special edition, the Aquamarine came in a nice gift box, the M200 with matching Edelstein ink. Uh, I do believe that it's actually the quite similar or actually the same box design. You may look that up on my blog and look at the packaging of the M205 Aquamarine. I think it also had like those um, looks like sort of ink that is resolved in water. Now with a smoky quartz, I mean, it also does look a little bit smokish, so it does resemble that quite nice. But I believe the Aquamarine looked similar and then it looked like ink diluted in water or something like that. Anyway, it's a very nice box design. Um, turn it around, there's nothing much on. On the back side, you do see the pen and the ink bottle. There's a special touch this time also to that ink bottle because the, the font here and the Pelican logo on top and that Pelican down here is gold as are the accents and trims. And if you buy the gift box, and if you buy the Smoky Quartz ink separately, I have a bottle here that I got separately, then it is silver respectively white as the standard Pelican Edelstein ink bottles are. Um, you then also do see the pen, and I wanna point out something right here on the box, on the packaging, because you won't see that on the pen itself in a minute, is that the pen, of course, is smoky quartz. It's translucent, it's a demonstrator pen, but it's considerably darker up here, and then it fades into a lighter brown down here, but you won't really see that on the pen itself because the pen is inked up. So actually there is smoky quartz ink down here, so this is why you won't see this very nice effect um, that you mostly only see when the pen is uninked, okay? And then it's a demonstrator. So of course you do see the piston in here, Mm, because it's a piston filling fountain pen. When you open that box, also the inside is a nice brown, matches all that very well. And then as said, you get that ink bottle here 
that has those gold accent, yellow gold accents on, as opposed to if you buy the smoky quartz separately from the gift box, where then those things are silver. Having that said, and I'm going to do a ink swatch also um, towards the end of the review for you to see the ink. Having that said, here is the pen. Very beautiful. I really love that finish, I have to say. The M200 is a is a is a tiny pen. Not, it's not that tiny pen, but it's a smaller pen. It's definitely a smaller pen. I love it for its pocketable size, fits perfectly in a short pocket. I'll point that out in almost any review of M200 or M400 or something like that. Very, very nice pen. Of course, here on top of the cap, on the finial, you have the Pelican with one chick. You have the typical Pelican shaped clip. Nothing unexpected here, all in um, gold plate accents here. Um, this clip that flares out, nice, springy, not too tight. Pelican clips, in my opinion, are the perfect clips for sliding a pen into a shirt pocket because with this flare, super pocketable. That is very lovely. You see the demonstrator effect of this nice brown translucent demonstrator finish here. Very beautiful because you can actually see the nib in here depending on how you angle the pen into the light. It's a very subtle demonstrator design that they went for when the pen lays on the desk like that and it's not exactly sun shining onto the pen. You see, you barely see the demonstrator effect. You can see it, of course. You see the nib in here, but it's not a demonstrator effect that just jumps into your face. It's subtle, nice, very lovely design that they went um, with that or lovely translucency opacity that they went with that pen. Then, of course, you have the cap band here saying Pelican Germany, as with all the M200s, one cap band, two cap bands for the Souverain series. Then the barrel going down like this here, you see the piston sitting in here, the piston rod is there, and then you see that part of the mechanism is where the piston is screwed into the barrel, and then here you have the piston turning knob that you would operate to move the piston up and down, and then you have one final gold band here at the end of the pen. As with all Pelican pens, uncaps with about one turn, very lovely because it makes it a super fast note taker, that is perfect. Pen posts, posts deep and securely, lays great in the hand. You see the demonstrator effect again here in the cap. That looks very, very nice. I find this warm, earthy brown tone is a perfect pair with the gold accents that Pelican went for. Just looks wonderful in my opinion. I'm a huge fan of brown inks. So am I a fan of this color um, of a pen. Just a very, very beautiful color, in my opinion, if you ask me. This is my favorite special edition so far. I really like the cognac already because it was also sort of brownish, yellow brown emberish, but this is really, this is really right up my alley. This is a really nice color, if you ask me. And then you have this nice gold nib here. It's a gold plated steel nib. This one here has an M on it, says Pelican and uh, has the Pelican logo on it right here. And you can also see how the nib and feet are inserted here into the section that has not particularly sharp threads and is quite comfortable to hold. As said, pen a little bit on the, on the thinner side section wise, but nice to hold. You see the section here, uh, the, the, the barrel here, and you see, of course, the ink level inside and now you see what I meant when I said it's a bit difficult to point it out but you can actually see that the brown is slightly lighter here more translucency here as opposed to the rear side of the barrel so you see the ink level you see the you see the piston sitting here right now nice demonstrator effect see the ink sloshing around in here beautiful nice I really do like that color. A quick size comparison to my standard size reference pen, Alami Safari, just for showing you the size of the pen. Of course, I've done that with many reviews of those M200s, just again to show you quick that it is a pen that is on the slightly smaller side. Before we do a writing sample towards the end of the review, let's appreciate that nice brown material one last time. 
depending on how you angle it into the light, the demonstrator effect will be. I like it when that gold when gold nip starts showing. Really nice, really nice. Um, just a really beautiful finish, in my opinion. Pelican and 200. Smoky quartz. Very nice medium nib. Very smooth rider. As most Pelican or all Pelicans basically are. Slightly on the wetter side. This is quite absorbent paper. So uh, you won't actually see a lot of wetness here. <clears throat> we do an ink swap to wrap this review up to show you the nice, lovely, playing with my life right here with an open ink bottle, um, smoky quartz brown ink. That is really my shade of brown said it before I'm a great fan of brown ink and this brown here is really really me really lovely if you have it in a pen it does shade pretty well as you can see here wonderful ink wonderful pen really good special edition if you like the pen I'd recommend you to pick one up quick because from experience I can tell you that those special editions are normally sold out pretty quickly I hope that review of the M200 Smoky Quartz was useful to you and I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.